Hey, what's going on everybody? And welcome back to another exciting video on the Let's Build It App.com channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Now, today's lesson, I would like to talk about a really exciting feature that's now available inside of Xcode 11. I think it's new, but maybe it might have been available in a older version. Uh, but this brand new feature is called Swift Package Manager. You probably heard of it uh, a while ago. But inside of Xcode 11, what you can do now with SPM is you can integrate third-party libraries inside of your project directly without having to touch the terminal and use tools like CocoaPods, which is okay, but I find it uh, kind of annoying from time to time. So before I dive into any serious code, let me go ahead and show you my desktop uh, just to show you exactly what's possible using uh, Swift Package Manager right now. So using SPM, you can see on the left side, I've installed two dependencies called Kingfisher and LBTA tools. And once I have this stuff installed, right, what can I do with it? Well, if I go into content view here, uh, you can see I've imported Kingfisher Swift UI, which is available inside of Kingfisher. And once you do this, you can render out an image using the KF image component, just like this. So you see three lines right here, right? Uh, Kingfisher image pass in the URL right here and it loads in this image on the right side directly. You don't have to do too much inside of Swift UI, just pass in a URL and you're pretty much good to go. You don't really need this line if you don't want it. So this is pretty simple and if you want to use LBTA tools, uh, you can do something very similar. I'm going to go inside a sample controller and this guy right here is a standard uh, you know, traditional UI kit controller. So UI view controller right here. And once you import LBA tools like so, uh, you can access the methods such as fill super view for our map view here. And once you fill the entire super view, it will fill up the entire super view. Okay, so how exactly does the package manager work? And how can you just import things so easily like this, right? Well, uh, why don't I go ahead and show you how to integrate uh, SPM inside of a brand new project right now. So, you know, go ahead and hit file, new project or command shift N, use a single boot app. And let's just say Swift, so Swift package manager, and let's say LBTA and, you know, obviously modify those properties and options to be whatever you want and create this inside of your computer and everything should be good to go. I uh, noticed that Catalina Xcode is a little bit slower than normal, but uh, this is what we have to deal with for now. So let's see, what do I want to do? I'm just going to hit the resume to get something pretty to show up on the right side. You should be able to see hello world uh, because that's what your content preview is showing. All right, so this is pretty good. Swift preview is a nice feature that you want to use. And the main question we want to answer is how exactly can we install uh, Swift packages? Well, you just want to go to file and Swift package and add a package dependency like so. And if you're logged into your GitHub account, you can see some of the things that are available already. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install LBTA tools right here. And the way you can do this is if it's not available here, right? You can go onto a browser and let me just pop in a browser here, so browser, and you can type in LBTA tools, which is, you know, on this guy right here, just click on that. And what you wanna do is you want to highlight this, right? And you want to copy that, go back to your Xcode and just pull it in right here and hit the next button. So next right here, and it's gonna download the tools and it's gonna ask you uh, which version you want to install. So currently the latest version of the tools is 1.0.12. And it's basically going to install the latest version up to, I guess, 1.99. It's not going to include anything above the version of 1.0. So make sure you're kind of aware of what this is doing. The branch, you can you know use the master and everything that's inside of the master branch instead, or you can uh, install a particular commit using a hash right here. So this stuff is uh, pretty self-explanatory. I'm just gonna use a version right here. And obviously you can modify this to be whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on next and this is going to install the dependency on the left side. It should show up right here. Uh, make sure to click on the yellow checkbox and you'll have the tools on the left side like so. 
Now, if you want to install something else like maybe Kingfisher, you just follow the same process. So Kingfisher pod, this is going to show up somewhere inside of here. Click on this. Uh, click on one of cat Kingfisher and just click on that. Let's do this guy again. Uh, add package dependency. Put that URL in here. It's going to download this guy. And I'm just going to click on next. Uh, once you see the screen, you should be able to see two, uh, two targets that you want to install. It's going to download that from the internet. Click on that and that. And uh, go ahead and hit finish and you should be uh, good to go here. Now, if you want to remove your dependencies, I noticed that if you right click on this stuff and delete, it might not delete the dependency. It might be a bug, but you want to go inside of here, click on, I believe your project and Swift packages and just remove it from this menu instead and uh, you should be fine. Okay, that's basically how you want to set up your dependencies. Uh, once you have everything set up, you can now go inside of your project and start importing things that you want to use. So you can use the import of Kingfisher, either Kingfisher or Swift UI. Either one, you should be fine. Uh, inside of here, you can now use the uh, KF image, which is the Kingfisher component. Pass in some kind of URL that you want to load for your image. You know, basically the example that I showed you earlier. Okay, this is fine. And if you want to do something else, such as using LBTA tools, right? Uh, you can apply the same process and maybe create a new file. So this with file. And let's go map controller, uh, whatever you want to use should be fine. Uh, instead of here, you want to import UI kit like that, uh, import LBTA tools, and then go class uh, map controller. UI view controller, instead of here, you want to obviously uh, override, view did load, super view did load, create some kind of map view. So let map view equals UI, no MK map view, whatever this class is, let's import uh, MK map kit. So MK map kit, map view is right here, create that. Uh, view add sub view of your map view. And then finally, you can just say map view dot fill super view. And fill super viewer is right here. It comes from the LBTA tools. You can command click into that. It'll bring you directly into the source for LBTA tools, source extensions and UI view layout, exactly where this method is located inside of these dependency directories right here. Okay, so hopefully that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can run your project or you know maybe load the preview on the right side. Either way, it's pretty simple. If you want to change your uh, main controller, you can go inside of here and just say window.rootViewController equals map controller. Uh, run your project, maybe use the pro. <laughs> that's the similar that I have loaded currently. So that's what I'm going to show right here. It's that. If you kind of pull it in right here, you are going to see the map. And uh, basically, that's the map controller right there. All right, everybody, that's gonna wrap it up for today's lesson. Hopefully you found it helpful. A couple of things that I would like to mention here about SPM is that you can install a ton of very, very useful libraries such as Alamo Fire, uh, JG Progress HUD, LBTA Tools, and Kingfisher, the list goes on. However, there is currently one large, large library that's missing from the SPM support uh, kind of library, and that's Firebase. Uh, the team at Google Firebase, they're working on getting it up and running, but there's a lot of blockers such as OC Mock and a ton of other uh, different libraries that's not ready for SPM just yet. So once that's available, maybe we can finally ditch Cocoa Pods and move on to greener pastures. All right, so again, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to click that subscribe button for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye-bye.